How to take your house spirit with you when you move? How can I take a domovoy, brownie, with me when I move from one house to another? What do I have to do? A domovoy question will always be relevant. What do you have to do? First of all, you should establish a good relationship with your domovoy. If you have a good mutual understanding, it is clear that he will be happy to go with you. Of course, it is quite difficult to tear a domovoy away from the place where he lives. Because, like cats, they do not get used to the owner, they get used to the house. And the owner is only a part of the house to them, a living, essential part, but only a part. And he will only follow you if you are a significant figure to him. Which means you need to be in good contact with him all the time. If you have such a contact, it won't be difficult to take a domovoy with you, because the house spirit naturally prefers to live in an inhabited house rather than an uninhabited one, and with the owners who are easier to deal with. You should therefore inform a domovoy that you are moving to another house. According to the tradition that prevails in our lands, a domovoy is usually carried out of the house either on a broom or in a basket. Usually a domovoy has his own broom, which is not used to sweep the floor, but is traditionally placed in the corner near the threshold and kept upside down. It is not so much a home to them as a symbol of home. And they like to see a broom placed in this way, and this broom is used to carry a domovoy out. All you have to do is turn the broom upside down, knock three times, say, we're moving to a new house and carry him out on this broom. If you don't have a broom and you're taking a domovoy from an abandoned house, Use a basket to carry him out. Take a basket, offerings, milk, cheese, something sweet, something he likes, and with these offerings go to the house spirit and say, here are sweets for you, come and live with me. If he climbs into the basket, you will notice it because the basket will be heavier. You hold the basket and you feel something there. Something heavy. And from his own house he moves on a broom. He can move on his own without any invitation just among the things you're moving. But of course it's better if he is invited. So when you move into a new house, the first thing you should bring is this basket or broom. What if another house spirit lives in the house I'm moving into, this can happen. And then they'll fight and try to throw each other out. So the first thing you should do is diagnose whether or not there is a domovoy in the house and agree with him that either he leaves or you make an exchange. For a time they will prove to each other who is right and who is wrong. The old domovoy may refuse to move in for the same reason, because there is a system of relationships between house spirits. And if a domovoy in the house you are moving to is older and more important, then a domovoy from the old house may simply refuse to move in. So the first thing you need to do is diagnose whether or not there is a house spirit in your new house. And how can I do that, everyone acts according to their abilities. Some use a pendulum, some use cards, some use runes. For you personally, I would recommend that you use your psychic channel, which you've established quite well. Just close your eyes and make contact. You'll be great at it.